be detail-oriented to a fault. As an ASMR creator and as a human being, I take a lot of pride in everything that reflects who I am, but sometimes I can get a little bit carried away and oftentimes in my mind Either, either I get exactly what it was that I envisioned or exactly what I want um, for you as the viewer or I do nothing and uh, I'm trying to, to change my ways so I'm gonna do things a little bit differently in this video usually record two separate tracks. One is for uh, the movements and the um, I guess the, the sounds and the um, ambience. And then in post, I re-record over that and I, I lay down the voiceover. In this one, I am doing them both at the same time. And I guess I'm going to call these raw ASMR triggers. Has that already been taken? It's probably been taken. I don't mind if it's been taken. I don't want to take it from whoever has taken it initially. I just want to... Um, clarify that this will be uh, a raw ASMR trigger fest that has an array of mm, somewhat random trinkets and knickknacks that I've found in my room and so I'm going to share those hope that they'll, uh, they'll put you at ease and maybe even give you some triggers here and there. So, let's go ahead and begin. You know, this table is actually kind of dirty, so I'm gonna wipe it off first. so many chemicals in them. The ones that I'm using right now anyway. You know, the typical ones with bleach and whatever else is in them. But I just love the smell. It's a fun fact about me. Pretty much good. 
think a few of you have inquired about before. It is a spoon ring. jewelry. I think about a year ago, maybe eight months or so ago, I started wearing it again. Just this one. I don't really wear any other jewelry. And put on my lotion before we begin. And the lotion that I am using is organically based. I found it lavender gift shop and if you know anything about me you can imagine how excited I was to see a gift shop entirely devoted to the wonderful flower of lavender flower herb essential oil The first item on our raw ASMR trigger list today is Lucky Buddha Enlightened Beer. <laughs> um, it's empty. Okay. I'm not gonna drink it for you. And actually, to tell you the truth, I don't really drink beer. Not for um, a spiritual or religious reason or anything like that. <laughs> I find that ironic that I mention that because it's Buddha, but um, I just don't like the taste of beer. <laughs> when I was in college, um, and when I was younger than that, I always thought, yes, when I'm able to drink beer, I'm look so cool because girls look so cool when they're drinking a bottle of beer but um no that, uh, that was not my thing I like to drink wine for the most part and on the occasional bad day whiskey <laughs> um actually vodka refreshing. 
refreshing and it uh, gets straight to the point. So, um, anyway, I fell in love with this bottle because as you can see, it's got all kinds of wonderful textures. I don't really want to tell you because <laughs> then maybe you'll be bummed out as well. But anyway, the point is that I'm just as sorry as I ever was that I wasn't able to put out a video. But I'm more sorry that I 